Now before I begin, I like to start all my reviews with my ethics statement. Ethics. Get it? Rig job! Hillbilly grip truck. So, talking today about sliders. Now, there's nothing new about sliders. I'm sure you've seen a bunch of them. Um, this is the brand new, well, brand new for me. I don't know when it came out. The Serp Magic Carpet. It's a five foot slide. Um, and I gotta tell you, I'm really digging this. I, there's a couple reasons. The biggest one is it's nice and long. Um, now, I have this Canova slider. And if you have a Canova slider, you already know what I'm thinking, which is it's really cheap and it gets the job done. Um, it's a good slider. I mean, I've gotten a lot of use out of it. There's a couple of problems with it that bug me to no end. Um, it's got these metal rails and metal wheels, which means one tiny grit of sand, and you've got this clunk thunk right in the middle of it, which actually slows down when you're sliding. It comes with these little cleany, foamy things, so that before you're shooting, you have to do this. If you leave it for a while and there's a bit of moisture, you end up with little spots on there. Clunk, thunk, clunk, thunk. Hang on, let me just think about this. What do I not like about this slider. There's a lot to like. I, I think that of all the sliders I've got and I've ever used, and I've used a whole bunch of different sliders, this is the only one that has a nice, usable, handy feet. They pack down really small. They pop out. Every slider should take notes from Canova and do something like this, because they just screw on easily onto the end. The sliders are cheap as chips. And one of the best parts is the feet. I a bunch of rattling in the mic there. The feet have nice little snapping indents, so it's easy to get the two sides or all four of them lined up to the same spot because it's got nice wide ones, uh, just fast to deploy, easy to use. The feet are brilliant. I love that about this slider. Um, what I don't like about it, well, it's, you know, I might have ordered the wrong one even. This is, I think it's the 900 mil one. It's just too long to pack into your luggage, but it's not quite long enough to give you anything that looks like something other than just you've got a slider so it's a nice short slide now this syrup that i got if you can see it's you get another foot and a half um and that to me that makes a huge difference because when you're doing a slider move if it's a short little slide it looks that way this starts to look like closer to a dolly move which is great the syrup slider also came with a short a short pair of rails the exact same carriage and the end caps work for either slider so when you pop this off, you can pop it into here, clip it off, and now this becomes your slider. So it's kind of two sliders in one, or just two different length options. If you're going portable, you can grab this and throw it in the back of the car. If you've got a bigger station wagon or you got your own hillbilly grip truck, then um, the longer slide, I think, makes a huge difference. So on these little end caps, it's got these two bordering on useless little feet, little stubbies. You can go on the ground with them. Um, I find them real difficult. They don't lock in the same, well, they seem to, but I'm always struggling to try and get them the same, even though they look the same when I've got it set up. So when you're setting it up in a hurry, the difference between that, that, and that, it's pretty hard to see, but it's really annoying as soon as you get it set up and you gotta run back to the other side and go, wait, now which one of these is off? There's a little roller bearing. It's actually quite handy. You can run a rope. There's a little hole here to put a rope, run it through the roller bearing. It means you can do a vertical rise or an angled rise, counterbalance the camera so it's not fighting uphill as much. Now for this, I've been goofing around a bit and I put it on light stands. I wouldn't normally put a slider on light stands. I think that's a bit hinky, wobbly. Um, I'm looking at a set of those new Matthews slider stands. They look pretty sharp, really heavy duty, junior pin. Now one of the things I love doing is putting ball heads on top of whatever stand mounts I have, because if you've ever tried putting regular stands or monopods or anything on the bottom of a slider, it's a nightmare. Because you get the, the, anything that causes your stand to go off from, from completely 90 degree axis is putting a huge amount of stress on the bottom of the slider. You can't move around. However, if you put a ball head on it, I'll see if I can do this without making myself look like a jerk, but probably can't do that. So just by having it tiltable now, I'm not doing this to show you you could tilt it, although I guess you could just use that to tilt it. There you go. No, it's more that if you're moving it around and it stands, you're all going all hinky. It's not putting strain on your, that's weird. It's not putting strain on your sticks. And as you go to stabilize it, you can do things like this, jiggle that around, jiggle that around, get it all nice and steady, lock off your ball heads. And 
you're away laughing. Now this is where if you had a rope running through here and a little weight, it'd be good. You can also do it with your hand. To be honest, I have yet to use one of these shots. Of course, you'd need to do a, a ball head so that you're not shooting all Dutch. But if you're doing time lapse of stars and trees at night, apparently you're required by law to do this move right here. So you can come open over a tree. I apologize to the people that do time lapses at an angle. I, I do apologize. It's... Now these ball heads I'm using, are, I don't know what they're rated for. These are the Jobies that come on top of the Gorillapod SLR Hooji Dengi. It's that, uh, this thing. Looks like you're going to sex shop or something. The heads that come on these are actually quite beefy and have been good for a bunch of different stuff. And I end up using the heads for stuff more than I use the, the Gorillapods, although they're pretty fun. But I digress. Right, what else was I talking about? If you are using a little quick release ball head, it's quite handy because you can easily leave the quick releases on to the bottom of the slider and pop it on and off. And when the heads are loose, it's great because when you're fiddling around to position the new one, it doesn't matter the angle at all. And then you can mess around with this one you know, in a real convenient way, which I find if you've ever tried putting a monopod or anything else underneath a, a slider, you know, or, or the worst is two tripods trying to get them straight. That's a nightmare, but that was just so easy. So that's not a feature of the slider. That is officially a rig job. I don't know why I held my fist up, but solidarity with other redneck grips. This slider works pretty well upside down or, you know, at a crazy angle. So it operates just as nicely in any position. I reckon you could screw this up to the ceiling and do a real nice overhead slide. Um, I have bought the Genie motor control for this, but it has not arrived yet. So I'll talk about that after I get it. All right, I'm gonna try and think of something negative to say about this because I wanna be balanced. All right, so stuff I don't like, um, in all honesty, I, I'm really struggling with these feet. They're, they're fiddly. They get kind of stuck up in the end. You have to kind of give them a tug out. I mean. They thread out a little bit. On the other hand, it's got the advantages of having a, a rope lock for the motorized system and the little pulley thing, which I'm not sure how we'll use it exactly, but I will be using that because it's just such a handy feature to have. So in that regard, I like it. The fact that this also pops off and sticks into another tube, I'm thinking of having somebody make me up a 10 set foot of slide. 10 set foot of slide. That's, that's not English, is it? There's a wheel under, on the underside that easily is, lets you adjust the tension. That's fantastic. If you've ever tried to adjust the tension on a Canova, you gotta go back to school for that. I have no idea what the weight res restrictions are on this. We can throw a tripod in the middle. You can put an F5 fully rigged up with a matte box, remote follow focus and the works on it, and it's no problem at all because the rails themselves are plenty strong. This is not gonna give out. So I reckon you could throw a red one on this just fine if you supported the center column. I put a 501 head on top of here. And I hate this head. There aren't that many heads that have a flat base that you can easily mount it onto a slider. So you're stuck with that. Uh, what's the other option? That little Y-Fang. This is the Y-Fang. You've seen it review. What's that fella uh, G or whatever on Cheesy Cam talked about it. Got me to buy one. It's a great little head. It's like 70 bucks. And this was like 300 bucks. And I'd rather have four of these than one of those. Because the 501 just breaks down, wears down, gets all gritty. Hate it, hate it, hate it. But I still use it on the slider because if I let people borrow gear, I don't want to give them a good head. There's one more thing that actually I think makes a pretty big difference just comparing these two sliders, which is just the two random sliders I got in my truck. This is no particular comparison, but this one, the, the Canova, comes with a nice padded bag. And that's another one of those things. It comes with a padded bag. It's got nice removable feet, cheapest chips. It's just so hard to look past it. But obviously I looked past it far enough to buy another slider because this just kind of wasn't getting the job done. Having a travel bag, I mean, even if you just chuck it in the back of the truck and back of the car, it's, it's pretty important. Now the design of this means the outside can get bunged up and it's not gonna affect your shot, but there's enough of this exposed that you could easily get the, the business part of this bunged up and that, that wouldn't be good. Um, I just pulled out the sewing machine yeah, I sew and uh, made a couple of bags for it. Sewing's like welding with thread. It's manly. So I made, I made a bag, just some foam. 
Um, if you know how to sew, it's a pretty easy thing to knock up. If you don't know how to sew, then that's a pretty big issue because you don't want to leave it loose in your truck. It will get donged up. I think I might have talked this topic to death. I've also seen some ridiculously heavy red wine with that lead coated red rock matte box and follow focus wiggle fest on it. And sorry, I went down a little tangent there. Um, loaded up to hilt. I could barely lift the entire rig and the center slider handled that without even blinking. I don't know how this would do without a center support. This is like somewhere beyond the center slider and my short one's shorter than it. So, and they make, I think they make a really long center slider now. Um, probably costs as much as a Yugo. So I realize I'm jumping around. This is the first time I've tried doing a video like this. So I'm babbling and hopefully you find something useful out of it. So at the Hoot Nanny last night, we did a shootout where we had the Canova and the Cine Slider and Pocket Dolly and that Billy Bloom edition Pocket Dolly and all that. So we had all of them side by side and we're compar comparing them. This one stood out. It was the most intriguing, the most interesting, one of the smoothest. So, uh, so if you're on a budget and if you're watching this, let's face it, you're either on a budget or you're really bored. Um, then so far, yeah. This is a win. The, everything about it seems completely solid. The thread points are really, really heavy duty. Um, it just seems like the perfect combination. It's just long enough to be unique, um, but it's still lightweight. It's not so long as to not fit in a station wagon. If you are in the market for a slider and you need that possible duality of a short and a long slider, this is a pretty cool solution. And it does get even cooler when you bring in the Genie automation system. So that was me rambling about the SERP Magic Carpet Slider. I, I really dig it. You probably got that from this. Um, nothing but good stuff to say, really. I, I think it's a great value, great slider. Um, if you're in the market for a slider, you should definitely consider this one as one of your options. And if you want to hear me babble on about any other gear or whatever's in my truck, if you have any specific questions about this, let me know. I'll do any tests or whatever. Um, if you want to read about me rambling about stuff, I got a website at hillbillygriptruck.com with me, Rig Job, and Boon Boon, the Hillbilly Grip Truck. Thank you. Rig Job! And Boon Boon! Hillbilly Grip Truck.